we looked at conditional probabilities before and we're just going to expand on that idea with a slightly more complex example. So here we're going to say in a certain county it's known that the probability of selecting an adult with obesity is 0.42 or 42%. So I'm just going to say okay the probability that someone is selected again with obesity and I'm actually going to say O oh, with a little positive up here. Um, just so that I can kind of keep my notation concise. Um, so O with the positive is going to be, you know, positive for obesity, so that the person is obese. So that probability is 0.42. And then the probability of a doctor correctly diagnosing a person with obesity as having the disease is 0.96. Okay, what the heck does that mean? Well, that means that um, their diagnosis, so I'm going to say D, the probability that they correctly diagnose this, so D positive, given that um, the person is obese. So given that they are obese, so O positive, they are diagnosed as having it, meaning diagnosed as being obese, so, so D positive. So this probability is 0.96, so pretty high likelihood. Um, the probability of incorrectly diagnosing a person without obesity. So given that a person is not obese, so I'm going to say O negative here, um, diagnosing a person without obesity as having obesity. So I'm going to say they diagnose them as positive for obesity. So, so D with a plus here, given that they are not obese is 0 0.07. Um, so this is kind of all the information we're given um, and just kind of converting it over to probability statements here. So let's find the probability that an adult is diagnosed as having obesity. So we're looking for, so we need just the probability of uh, being diagnosed with obesity. So I'm going to say D with a, a positive there. Okay, well there are two ways that you can uh, be diagnosed as a positive. You can, uh, you can be diagnosed as being obese and actually be obese. You can be diagnosed as being obese but not actually be obese. So there's again sort of these two scenarios but it turns out we're, we're not just going to add them because we need to factor in um, this idea that well you know these aren't just kind of evenly split scenarios. We've got 42 uh, percent of, of the population's obese. You could also say okay I guess that means that um, the remaining you know, 1 minus 0.42, so the remaining 0.58 or 58% of folks in this county are not obese. So this brings back up an idea of conditional probabilities that we looked at before. So probability of A given B is the probability of A and B divided by the probability of B. So let's adjust this a little bit and say well um, if I if I multiply both sides by probability of B I get this statement probability of B times probability of A given B equals the probability of A and B and so we can look at this and say well really what I'm what I'm trying to solve in my particular problem is that I want to look at the probability that they were diagnosed as positive and actually were obese and the probability that they were diagnosed as being obese and yet they were not obese right so those are the two scenarios that could lead us to this this overall probability of being diagnosed as as obese. Um, <clears throat> so why did I bring up this part in red here? Well because we have a couple of and statements and we have some conditional probabilities that relate really well to those. So I'm going to rework this portion here and in fact maybe I should um, just try to clear out a little space for myself. Okay. So the first part of this, right, we're, we're just kind of taking the generic language of A and B and we're going to replace it with our D plus O plus, D plus O minus, things like that. So we're going to say, okay, 
um, the probability of B, event B is, is uh, in this case, O plus, so being obese, and then the probability of A given B, so D plus, meaning a positive diagnosis, given that the person is obese. So we have both of those pieces, right? We have those up here, so we can find those values. And then we're going to do the same thing for the second and probability. So it, this is going to be the probability now of not being obese, but being diagnosed as being obese, given that you are not obese. So we're going to put all those pieces together, and we're just, again, going to steal. We have all the probabilities up here. So probability of being obese, 0.42, or 42%. Uh, probability is of being diagnosed as obese, and uh, given, given that you are obese, so given that you are within that 42% of, of this population is 0.96. Okay, and then we go on to the next thing. We say, okay, well, the probability of not being obese in this population is 0.58, 58%. But the probability of being diagnosed as obese, given that uh, a person is not actually obese, pretty small, but, you know, still non-zero, 0.07, 7%. So we can go through and calculate that value, and I'm just going to do that uh, off to the side here for myself, uh, but you can punch this into a calculator, no problem. So we should get 0.4438 or 44.38%. So this is the probability that an adult is diagnosed as having obesity, whether or not they actually are obese. And that's why we had to consider both scenarios right here and here, right? Your diagnosis, again, doesn't necessarily mean that you are obese. Okay, so that's the idea of kind of taking a conditional probability and, and flipping it around. Like I said, this is a slightly more complex example, which is also why, you know, writing out these probabilities for yourself is important. Um, okay, so let's try part B here. So what is the probability that an adult, an adult who is diagnosed as being obese actually is obese. So this is saying, what's the probability that uh, someone is obese given that they were diagnosed as being obese? So we can kind of work a few ways around this, right? We can say, well, uh, this is a conditional probability, so I could use the basic formula that we used, that we started with, right, for conditionals. We could say probability that both of these things happen divided by the probability of the given thing happening, so being diagnosed as positive. And we go, hey, wait a minute, this is actually the denominator. It was my answer from part A. And the top part of this was was also kind of a portion of part a right this this uh was one of our pieces it was i'll put a little box around that right the order doesn't matter so if you say the probability of a and b versus the probability of b and a that's the same thing so i'm going to say also part a right not the final answer um so part a maybe final answer uh, for the denominator there. So we'll say, okay, cool. Um, I already kind of calculated this portion. We said that it was ultimately, after going through a couple steps, we said it was 0.42 times 0.96. And then this is going to be divided by the final answer, which was 0.4438. So again, kind of thinking about um, given questions versus and questions, that's really the, one of the deciding factors in, in how we operate in these problems.
And in this case, you know, we had to, to kind of read through the wording a little bit. So what's the probability that an adult who is diagnosed as being obese? That's the given information. So we're basically saying narrow your scope. So we know that they are diagnosed as being obese. What's the probability given that, uh, given that they have been diagnosed as such, that the person is actually obese? So again, a little bit of sifting, and that's why that's part of what makes these more complex. Um, so anyway, our result here, if we punch this in, would be something like 0 0.9085. Uh, this decimal keeps going, but I think go into four decimal places for this is probably just fine. Um, so there's almost a 91% chance um, that the person is actually obese, given that the diagnosis comes back as such. Um, but that also means there's there's you know over a nine percent chance that that diagnosis comes back, and the person is not actually obese. So these these kinds of problems are interesting anytime we're looking, especially in medical situations, um, comparing diagnosis versus actual um, you know presence of a condition.